Hi there, everybody. I'm John. And you know what? I'm a disciple of Jesus. I was one of the 12 men that had the privilege of being able to spend my time with him while I was here. So it was so cool to have him around, but he taught me something that was unbelievable. He taught me about Passover. Say Passover. Good job. Passover is all about when we, as a people, the Jews, got to leave Egypt. We left Egypt because of God delivering us. And so, Passover, we're going to learn about all of the pieces of the ingredients that we celebrate every single year. So the first one is unleavened bread. It's right here. Um, yeah, it's right there. And unleavened bread is flat and it's crumbly. So you might say, unleavened bread, what's that? Well, unleavened bread was to remind us as people, Israel, that when we left, we were in a hurry. We had to get out of there quickly because Moses had gone through all these plagues and everything. So we were in a hurry. And so we didn't have time to put yeast in the bread. And so it didn't rise. So that's why it's flat. And so that's what reminds us of that. And it tastes really good. I love, I love tasting the unleavened bread. <laughs> it's delicious. So that's unleavened bread. The second thing um, is horseradish. Horseradish. Hold on, let me chew this for a little bit. Try to swallow it. <laughs> horseradish is really bitter. And the reason why we look at horseradish is because of the fact that it was a hard time for us. We were all very sad because we were having to leave a place that we had known. It was the only thing we knew. And we were going out into the desert and we were kind of scared about that. And so we also celebrate, we look at the salt water to help us to remember of how bitter that was. It was a bitter time for us as a people. And so when we look at the salt water and, and we look at all of the... <laughs> we look at how bitter it was, it's a sad time. And so I'm going to add an ingredient right now because... Um, I don't like the taste that's in my mouth because of horseradish and salt water, and so I'd like to add some green icing just for the fun of it. This is green icing, and I like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I really like green icing because it was something that we ate as disciples. And the twelve of us just would chill out and eat green icing. No. <laughs> Now, the next thing that I want to show you in these ingredients is applesauce. And so we would look at the bitterness in horseradish and salt water, and then we would all eat applesauce. And we love applesauce. It's my favorite part of all the ingredients. I love applesauce. And so, oh. <laughs> So, um, the next thing that I want to show you is a hyssop branch. It's right here. Hyssop branch. Say hyssop branch. That's what this is. And they would take hyssop branch, and the death angel was coming through all of Egypt. And the Israelites were instructed to take a hyssop branch and to dip it into the blood of the lamb. And it had to be an unblemished lamb. And so they would take the hyssop branch, and this right here, this grape juice actually represents the blood of the lamb. They would take the hyssop branch, dip it into the blood, and they would put it on the doorpost. And if it was on the doorpost, then you would be saved from the death angel. They would take it and put it on the top of the door. Yep. Then on the side of the door, the side of the door, and the other side of the door. They would put it on the top of the door, the side of the door, and the other side of the door. And then, guess what that makes? Do it again. That makes a cross. You see that? Way back before Jesus ever came, and they made a cross. The blood of the Lamb saved the people of Egypt. And Jesus is actually referred to as the blood of the Lamb. Isn't that cool? And so you can imagine how I would feel celebrating the Passover with Jesus himself. The week of. And guess what he did? He came in to celebrate the Passover on a donkey. So I want you to make a noise. Make a donkey noise. Go. Oh, do it louder! Oh, oh. <laughs> That's great. So Jesus is coming in on a donkey, 
and all the people are celebrating. Just imagine the streets being filled and there's people everywhere and they're all celebrating the Passover. It was an amazing celebration. And I actually got to do that with Jesus himself. Man, what an honor to be a part of his life. And so I wrote about it. I wrote a book. It's the book of John. And I want you guys to study that. I want you to read the book that I wrote because you'll learn so much about Jesus by my life spent with him. So you've got to do that, okay? So thanks for learning about the Passover with us and all the things, the ingredients that we got to look at today. It was a blast. I had a lot of fun. You guys, I love you. Bye.